In this session, I will explain how to use the G10 function, which inputs the TC programmable data. Using this function, you can input the work origin offset amount and tool data by issuing commands in a program. First, let's see how to input the work coordinate system and work shift. Here is the command format. L2 stands for the work coordinate system. P stands for the work coordinate system number. For example, if the P1 command refers to the G54 coordinate system. If a value is commanded with an absolute value X and Z, the pertinent value is entered. If commanded with incremental values U and W, the value is added to the existing value. To change the work shift value, enter the X, U, Z, or W value after P0 in G10, excluding the L2 command. Next, let's see how to command the tool command. Here is the command format. P is the compensation amount number of the tool, and the number can be commanded according to the number of offset amounts. For example, if there are 64 offsets, the tool compensation where value number becomes 1 to 64. For the shape value, enter the offset number by adding plus 10,000. For X and Z, the offset value is entered if the appropriate offset amount is entered. For U and W, the value is added to the existing offset value. Enter the edge R compensation amount in R and C becomes the value that is added to the existing edge R value. Q is the virtual edge number. For example, if the G10, P1, X20, Z20, R0.4, Q3 command is issued, X.20.Z20.Edge point 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 R0.4 virtual number 3 is entered in the offset where number 1. That is the end of my explanation on how to use the G10 function, which inputs TC programmable data.